podcasting and it's week three of our Parenting in the Digital Age series launch. Last week we talked about technology being available 24-7 and the fact that technology never sleeps and how that can be a bit of a challenge. And this week we're going to talk about another question that parents often ask us and that's how do I keep my children safe online? And so today I want to talk to you about some really good digital habits that we can build in our kids that can help keep them safe online. So as usual, I do have a sketch note to share with you and I'll put that in the comments below after we're done with this Facebook Live, just in case I add a little bit to it because I talk about some different things that I haven't already got noted down. I've got a few tips to share with you that some of our followers have shared with us, which is really exciting. But I thought about what are the three main habits that I would encourage my own children to do. And if you are in the audience, um, I would love for you to share um, some of the habits that you build in your kids to help them stay safe online. I've got Kim in the audience. She's handling the back ch channel for me again, which is awesome because um, I can't do, I can't multitask. It's a fallacy. I'm not very good at it. It's all I can do to keep this running. So Kim will say hi to you and she'll put in the links that I talk about and, um, and she'll answer any questions that you have and I'll try and keep an eye on the comments as well. I've set a goal for myself today. I'm going to try and talk for just 15 minutes because I know as a parent time is really, really precious. Actually time is precious to everyone. So that's my challenge is to keep this under 15 minutes today. So like I said, I've got three habits, ones that when I thought about this, like how did I help keep my kids safe online? These are the three things that I really instilled in them, and hopefully they still have those habits today. So habit number one, I've got a lot of um, acronyms to share with you today. So the first acronym is Be Smart, and we can apply smart to a lot of things, but in this um, case, SMART stands for the following things. So S for safe. So teach our kids to not give out any personal information. We don't give out our passwords. And if we are asked for that sort of information, like our address, our phone number, that it's important that we ask for our parents' permission first. So that's S. M is meet, and this one was a big one for me because um, my son, he chats online a lot with his gaming, and so it's really important to know that um, agreeing to meet somebody that you only know from online is not a safe, smart thing to do. And so that was a rule or a habit in our house is that we didn't arrange to meet anybody that we just met online, and we certainly talked about it with our parent, me, um, before if we were thinking about that would be something that we would want to do. Um, there are some cases where it is appropriate, but for the most part, we don't agree to meet anybody that we've just been talking to online without actually letting our parents know or having our parents with us when we do it. So that's M. A is for accept. The, uh, the thing about online behavior is that we get sent a lot of stuff. We get sent text messages, we get sent emails, we get sent a whole raft of things. And it's really important to teach our kids not to click on anything that has come from someone that we don't know or trust, because that's how we get infected with viruses um, and nasty things like that. So that's a really important habit to build is that we don't click on or accept things from people that we don't know or trust without sharing that with our parents first. R stands for reliable, and we've talked a little bit about this before. Reliable in the sense that we really need to learn about reliable sources because we've got the whole fake news thing going on that sort of has spread itself into a lot more areas about, you know, what do you trust, what's a good source, um, how do you know that what's being said is true? And so really helping your kids to understand that not everything on the internet or everything online is a reliable source 
and we have some resources that are available on our website that can help you to help your kids sort of figure that out, like how do I know if something is reliable or not. And the last one of Be Smart is the T, and the T stands for Tell. And it's always been important to me, especially with my kids being online, is that if someone makes them feel uncomfortable or something happens that makes them feel icky or um, not safe online, that they tell me. And it was really important for me to stress to them that they are not going to be the ones in trouble. Um, they need to tell me. So not to be afraid of telling me when something like that happens. So that's be smart, habit number one. Habit number two is a big favourite of mine and I used it in my class with my students as well as with my own kids and that is teaching your kids to think before you post, chat or upload. And I just think this is a really good digital habit for all of us to have. And think is another acronym, of course. It stands for asking yourself the following questions before you post, chat or upload. So the T is to think about whether it's true. And that's especially important these days because of the rise of fake news and unreliable sources and all those things out there that aren't true. So before I post something, is it true? Before I post something or chat or upload it, is it helpful? That's the H of think. I is inspiring. Is what I'm posting going to be inspiring to somebody? That's a really good sort of perspective to take a look at before you post something or repost something. N is for necessary. Is it a necessary thing? There's a whole raft of stuff out there on the internet now cluttering up the universe. I would like to think that all of us are in some way being responsible online and thinking about all of the stuff that we're putting up there and thinking about whether it really is necessary to go up there in the first place. And the last one of think is kind. And that kind of segues into habit number three because I always hope that before my children and your children and everybody's children really do think before they post, chat or upload that they are being kind. And that leads me into habit number three. Gosh, I'm racing through these habits today. I'm inspired to meet my goal. Habit number three. Habit number three is just be a good digital citizen. If there is one thing that you can instill in your kids that would really help them to stay safe online is to just be a good digital citizen. And I'm talking about not only keeping themselves safe, but keeping others safe as well. Be a good digital citizen all year round. And it doesn't matter whether you're online or you're offline, they're exactly the same. And I know that lots of you out there, you instill that in your children in the world anyway. So it's the same online. But for some reason, some of our kids, because the context changes, they forget that being a nice person face to face is exactly the same as being a nice person online. And so I know that we say this all the time, just how important it is to have open, honest conversations with your kids. We're going to say it again. The best way to help your kids be a good digital citizen all year round and really build that habit is to continue to have or start having these really good, open, honest family conversations. And maybe even consider having a family media agreement that talks about these particular habits. And if you're not sure where to start, well, this week's freebie is just for you. It's all about conversation starters. And we even have a, um, a family media agreement template in there to help you sort of get started with talking with your kids about the things that are important to go on in your household because every household is different. We could have given you a blanket family media agreement, but what's important and of value to you may not be quite as important or might be even more important 
in my family. So we've given you some conversation starters and some areas to think about. They're very similar areas to those things that I've talked about already today. But there are ways to start the conversation and for you to all agree together. Because if you agree together, then you're more likely to stick to your agreements. Things that we can do to stay safe online and build some really good digital habits. Now we had some shares of some family tips earlier in the week. Heather McNeil Roy shared a really good one and it's in her family they have timers so everyone has a timer for their screen time because she said it's really easy for them to lose track of how much time they're spending on their video games or spending watching TV or spending watching Netflix online. So they all have a timer. So they have an agreed amount of time and when the timer goes off, the screens go off. And that is a really neat habit. I think that's a smart habit um, that their family has built. And then one more for you, Emily Roth shared with us something that is all about um, what I was talking about before being a good digital citizen. She um, shared the story of when her daughter wanted to buy one of those swimmable mermaid tails and she said she could have jumped online straight onto Amazon and ordered it straight away um, and got it for her but she decided to use that as a teaching opportunity and she got online with her daughter and taught her how to read reviews how to check out whether that was a more uh, reliable or trusted source of the mermaid tail, um, how to compare some prices, and how to find promo codes. Because apparently, and I didn't know this, apparently you can find promo codes for just about anything. So there's an extra tip for you. So I thought that was a really smart tip as well and a really neat one for just being able to have a conversation. You're not talking about icky stuff, you're talking about something that your child would like. What an opportunity to turn that into a bit of a teachable moment about one, checking out reliable sources, two, like price comparing, and three, like having that whole conversation about how we're going to keep ourselves safe online. Is it okay I'm going to have to share some of my private details when I do my order? So that's a on point in just in time way to have a conversation about all of the things that we've said are really important about staying safe online. So we have that freebie available for you today. It's called Conversation Starters. Kim's already put the link in the chat below, so that's awesome. If you want to check out more of our parent resources, we have um, got quite a collection for you and it's continuing to build. There are, um, you can find those on www.edurolearning.com forward slash parents and then from there you can find our resource page. So that's it from me today. I think I've met my um, time goal. Yes, I've got a minute to go. I've done well. I've probably talked very, very fast, but um, you can rewind the video <laughs> and watch it again if you like. So thanks for joining us today. Even if you've joined us and are you are watching the recorded version, all of these things are still available for you online. It's been an absolute pleasure being here again as week three of our Parenting in the Digital Age series launch. I'm Chrissy Hallier and next week you are going to be dazzled by the amazing Kim Cofino. She's going to be here talking with another topic that's to do with helping parents parent in the digital age. Have a great day.